Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I know it, we just came out of Mother's Day weekend and I'm hoping you had a lot of fun and got a chance to spend time with your loved ones. For those of you who are celebrating in a different way, I hope you had a time of peace and were able to get some rest for yourselves. And uh, today I actually have Yuedra joining us. She is known as Akka or Miss Bala in uh, the Yar 3 to hear her version of what she saw, how she experienced Yar, all the way from her audition, all the way until now. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well. Yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I actually wanted to ask you, you took a little bit of a, a detox over the last three days. How was that? Did you get some rest? It was really good. I mean, actually, okay. it was a challenge with my girlfriend. We, we kind of okay. like, um, you know, want to try these, like, you know, we're always in social media. When you open the phone yeah. after your period, whatever, every day in the morning, thanking God, you end up using Facebook or, you know, you end up going on uh, Instagrams, to, you know, to just, see, that's how life is right now. You know, Absolutely, so yeah. It's and, all social media right now. And then, you know, it's like kind of challenge. So I said, okay, fine, I'm going to do it. And I did it for three days. <laughs> did you feel like rejuvenated a little bit? Did you feel a real difference, like coming off of that, not checking your phone so much? Uh, it was, it was. I had more time to um, spend a little bit more uh, quality time with my family. Um, like I talked more than the normal time. Mm -hmm. Like I kept irritating everyone with too many questions. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, another thing with social media, sometimes you do see some um, distracting mess messages like or, or videos yes. or something like that, which also was, I mean, another thought, which I said, okay, I'm going to do this for three days. And every, every time you open up the news is about COVID-19, blah, 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 so on, something getting damaged. And it's, it's really, really sad. So it was a it's good, good overwhelming. Talk. And that's yeah. the reason I wanted you to talk about it, because I think more people need that. They need to realize, hey, yeah. you can actually put your phone in a different room and kind of enjoy people a little bit. True. True. I agree very much. <laughs> I want to so, say um, I really love your outfit. The batik looks beautiful. I, I, I took a bit of time to dress up on this. And actually, this yeah. is from... Um, Laduna SG, um, it's okay. one of my um, sister-in-law's um, page where she sells really, really cheap, nice um, batik outfits. So it matches Honestly, I was checking it out earlier today because yeah, I was looking at a picture that I could use for, for the, the, the timing to let people know that we we're going to go live. And I saw the picture and then I went straight to her page to try and check it out. And it's, it's really beautiful, a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of nice, pretty uh, outfits. They even have recently the new ones with um, the mask, you know, you usually use a mask. Yeah. Right, right, right. Very cool. So shout out to LaLuna. And um, I, I do adore your outfit today. So, so Yard 3. Yeah. Yes, okay. please. Sorry. No, no, no. I like that. I, I like the colors. I like that it's not just one color. It's not color blocking either. It's batik. It's beautiful. It's very, very, a nice it's very trail. flowy. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Welcome, Dylan. So, Yar 3, how did you get to join our, the cast? How, how, did, how was the process for you? Because some people auditioned, some people, I auditioned. I don't know if you had to audition or not. If they called you and said, hey, you know what? We really want you to play the sister, as the sister, for the uh, sister. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yar 3 was um, actually something, really a beautiful drama. I would say I was so happy that I got an opportunity to be part of it. But I would say the biggest thank to Shavani. Shavani is one of the producers, you should know her. Oh, yeah, and, she's such a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. So she's, she's a beautiful soul. And she actually called me up and said, would you like to be a sister for your sister? And I was like, okay, why not? And I've never worked with Vinga, sir. So, okay. So, you know, I, I'll speak sometime also that, you know, maybe uh, sure, sure. Is joining us, you know, they probably understand as well. So Vinga, sir, could have a and it's really, okay. really um, a big opportunity. And I, I was really happy to do anything, you know just work with him i worked with him like on a set but i did makeup i've never got a chance to act with him so, ah okay okay uh, be part of his coaching and acting yeah. so shamri dan kupudanga ungala so to start okay very cool so appa vigneshwari ke eppadi irundichu like kurt odane like how was it when uh, she found out you get to play her sister and <laughs> no i'm going to this one pair i mean she didn't know i didn't know first like then then ah. she said oh you get to do with your sister so i told hmm. this little like Oh, okay, it's going to be fun. I said, yeah, it's going to be fun. But actually, um, as much as it was fun also, but you know, sometimes sister and sister acting, um, it was quite difficult. So she's a veteran actor. So um, it, it's right. tough to keep on par. But at the same time, it was, I enjoyed I enjoyed most of the time. Yeah, you were fantastic. We loved it. We, you, you looked really? very, very comfortable. Yes, you looked very comfortable on screen. And the dynamic between the two of you seemed natural anyway. So was it a very different dynamic to your everyday dynamic or... Did you have to reach very far to, to play that? 
I would say that because you know, um, knowing Bingley Shrey, like my sister, um, she's actually a very uh, chirpy girl. She's very bubbly. She's she's the character in that you know she's a okay, okay. But then there's another side of her, the evil side of her. Mm-mm. She doesn't yeah. have. Bingley Shrey is really a very very <laughs> sweet person, very humble, and she's full of life. And you know, to mm. see that side of her it was a bit difficult. And I mean, that was a bit challenging. You know, then you got to be um, thinking it's not Bingley Shrey anymore. She's actually Anjali, and you are right. <laughs> Yeah, and tell me about yours, Rasid. I mean, I I was admiring your Tamil. Oh my God, from the start I saw you. Like, oh my God, I didn't like when you buy my because. Nan, uh, audition like, I audition like I memorized the line and I delivered that. I think I did okay. At the cup room, or or uh, Vengasa gave me a script, just a random script. It had nothing to do with what I had already rehearsed. So my participare try and deliver the line right after you read it. So he gave me about two minutes to look at it. I couldn't. It was hard. I could not because. <laughs> My mind voice was not jiving. Like, apuri kadi kritha ke, and it could like natural avar dilla. So I, it, that's not how I speak, and I, I couldn't figure out. Like, I, I was like, yeah, he's not going to call me back. He was like, uh, yes, I understand your ilat Tamil and everything, but do you think you would be able to learn Singapore? I was like, yes, absolutely. I would do whatever I need to do because it's an opportunity to expand my Tamil. Like, mm-hmm. growing up, we had Tamil school in Brisbane. There's a, it was a Brisbane Tamil Padasaliam. My mother taught there, but it's all Ula Tamil. So this is what mm-hmm. I've I've grown up with, right? So if Singapore comes to it, if we are learning it, it's like a vibe. It's like I've never had that opportunity before. So I'm excited. So whatever I had, I I went and started buying Tamil Murusa just to learn it, it's like like just to get the pronunciation a little bit better. But even then. I need to hear it more often. So this is why, like, any time I've heard from any of the the stars or celebrities here in Singapore, when they say, "Oh, I was part of this show and this show and this show," are the thirty point park up on it. So then I I have an excuse to watch them and then hear the Tamil as well. So after that, I I left the audition. I really did not think I was going to get a a call back at all. But I got lucky. I'm I'm one of the person now. Ra le unga unga Tamil are umba le funne. I'm like. <laughs> the way you pronounce it, I was like, okay, it brought me memories back to um, I don't know if you watched um, this uh movie um, there's this song called Oda Devam Thunder Puve where Simran acts as the mother for this girl. Okay, uh, vaguely I think. Puve and the and the mother went on uh-huh. as well. So, mm-hmm. Okay, um, okay. Unless I think it's uh it's uh Nitya Das is it um something like she's Sri Lankan she speaks that kind of Tamil you know the Sri Lankan Tamil mm-hmm. like wow it. brought me back to that era and then i was like when i watch you all the time on screen i'm like oh my god i'm falling in love the way she speaks tamil <laughs> oh thank you yeah, no so honestly good. um from the time i came back to singapore till now even it's been like touch and go sila perku puriyadilla like when i speak tamil i think i am speaking well and then i'm looking at them they're like what the hell did you just say and i'm like uh, i don't know did i say something <laughs> why i also don't know so apdi endam vandichu and then um sila perku they didn't like it honestly until big boss came out I think people were kind of on the fence about whether they liked it or not. And then after Big Boss cuz we had two Ila Tamil people on the show itself, I yeah, think it became one of those things they heard it got to got to got to they put it into Vandrika. So, okay lah. I got lucky after that. And as I mean, Tamil movie when the Narya Arthur with the Vidama piece one. So but to still speak it and then you know the tonation and stuff, I mean it's lovely. It's it's like music, you know. Keep it. I'm not a very yes. very good man Tamil. I do or Vidama vage la kekadu pen Tamil vandu or ஐயங்கார் பேசும்போது யூனோ இங்கிரச்சவா அப்படிலாம் பேசுவாங்க யூனோ இங்க நம்ம சொல்லுங்க வா இங்கிரச்சவா அப்படிலாம் பேசுவாங்க யூனோ இட்ஸ் வெரி எஸ் 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 இட்ஸ் வெரி நைஸ் ஏ அண்ட் தென் இஃப் வி கோ டு லைக் த பக்கா தமிழ் சைடு நவ யூ செட் யூனோ யூனோ இட்ஸ் வெரி டிஃபரண்ட் பட் இட்ஸ் வெரி நைஸ் டு ஹியர் தட் சைடு யூனோ அண்ட் இட்ஸ் थैंक यू அண்ட் யூனோ தி ஃபனி திங் இஸ் sorry sorry because we've never really connected we've always been texting it's great so i just wanted to ask you like what um uh, brought you to singapore and are you loving it and you know so on oh i'm so glad to be back home i'm singaporean born and bred singaporean but a little bit of a local foreigner so anja vaisala irundhe inga inga vittute like uk ku ponna uk ku oru like rendu varsham anga thangi pottu adukapram australia la irundhen so i was in brisbane for about 4 years and then adelaide for a year ange irundhe jakarta ku poi jakarta la irundhe us us i've been there for about 20 years now Cool, cool. So that's, that's yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> so Bengasa was, you know what? We will make sure that you are from Canada or something. Is you are Sri Lankan from Canada? I put you up. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> it was really, really nice to know you, actually. Um, Thank so you. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
the fact that you got to play with your sister, the fact that you got to play an older sister already, like very, very familiar patterns, I think, except for some variations in the character itself. You mentioned already that you had a tough time um, seeing that dark side of peppy, happy people where they, they might have this mindset where, you know, it has to be about them. Otherwise, they don't know what they're doing. So I know that was difficult to deal with. Was there anything in your character that you had to adjust that you had to, that wasn't natural for you? Um. Okay, I don't know if you... I think maybe you might agree with me, but Vingasa, forgive me for saying this. <laughs> no, no, but you're telling Yeah. So, um, basically, Vingasa, he's so good. I, I mean, you would not know until you actually see the whole thing coming out, right? Actually, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my goodness, yeah. There were so many times, like, <laughs> I actually felt like I'm done with this. You know? I just want to leave the set. I just, so, I wanted to cry. I got so tensed up. Like, I'm done. I mean, I've done a couple of acting, but it's not to this level. I mean, every director is different. Mm. And... Um, for me, uh, I think certain pronunciation in Tamil, it's quite difficult because I'm a fast speaker. So that's one thing. And and mm. when I speak fast, he doesn't like him saying, go slow, go slow, go slow, you know, that kind of thing. And then, right, but yeah. if he said it five, six times, then, you know, anybody would get annoyed. And he's a person, you have to have the same flow in everything. And then he likes a lot of actions, if you notice. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I will say this. I'm actually really grateful because... Our path the prayer, he gives you a lot of instruction. He gives you a lot of insight. So Silaperika Apriyalam Sandwa they say Yamatangas. They won't tell you, they won't explain what is your mindset, where are you coming from on the Madri. Because Anglicanda as supporting actors, we don't know the whole story. We're discovering it just like you guys as the audience. So the more they can tell us in that scene, the better it comes out. So I, I understand there was there was frustration on my part as well, only because I felt like I just wasn't getting it, and I couldn't I couldn't figure out the connection between what he was seeing and what I was doing. <laughs> so I was frustrated no, with that's myself. The most interest, interesting, intriguing part I would say because you do not know exactly what's happening. So you just leave your strip on that. Sometimes, like you said earlier, ani ke apteri hamka aur shoot bolji da aur varu you know different shoot not then just like adjust the, the script right on the spot to change something. Yes. And then you've got to go, pop, okay, three scenes today and blah, 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 blah. Okay, go for this one now. I'm like, oh, sir, sir. Oh, no, okay, take, take, take. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know, but it, it was a bit stressful when, you know, on, on set sometimes. But then at the latest, when I saw it coming on TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Yes. I was absolutely, yes. so good, you know. So yeah, it, it, I mean, it just went on to a level that I realized, you know what, he's just letting me be, but at the same time, just deliver what he's asking for. Yes. And when I start seeing that on screen, like even when, you know, it's even it's a short scene that he took probably um, 10 times or 20 times on me to repeat to do that. Mm -mm. He wants something exact, it's because he wants it to reach out to people. Yes. And when other park come over there, only on the TV, park come over there, I'm saying to that, I'm not the It's not just go there, and take one, take two, take three and go, but... Um, it's even a small hand actions to or, or, or a or a do, do, you know, and when he meant it, he meant it because that's a link to something. You're getting people to think about it. Uh, I mean, Narayan Yos ke So Yes. It's very, very interesting. His job is super. Yeah. I don't know. Every other lamb, like yours, it's like solar. I, I don't even know where he comes up with. And some of it is us as well. Like, I know there were a couple of takes where something I did naturally, and then other couple of like, poor, poor, he kept correcting stuff, and I lost the thing that came naturally. And then he was like, no, 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 I want that back. Just bring it back. Like, don't, don't lose that. So there were a couple of times where I like rolled my eyes, or I was looking like into the camera, and like, uh, what, uh, Karthik was behind me, like saying, delivering some like nonsense line, like he's trying to convince me, right? And I'm like, whatever so what came naturally and then i was trying to remember all the corrections so that it would deliver pop yeah it was frustrating because i felt like i was failing him that's that's the only frustration for me like i felt like i was failing exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah but but I, I think it was a beautiful journey i would say i mean i i, I think i did nail to a certain part i mean if you watch the last scene where i was with the inspectors like um yes baby uh, and the uh, other person so it was it was a moment which and like the third part, I can't stop talking about it. And that's okay. Oh. The whole, whole time, time like drama, mother what did that? And the mother what did that? Script to or not, we don't know. The real truth. Yeah. <laughs> that helps though. That helps because at the U.S. to U.S. to you kind of like get into the character a little bit easier, and eh? yeah. But I'm so happy to talk. Carry this in, cut that. I'm very happy about it. So now, U.S. to U.S. to U.S. Next day, shoot where I'm like, okay, I'm I'm ready. That mala, you know, that mala. Person. Yes. I'm really sister. I'm really there, and I know what's happening. And she died, so um, I was really, really glad um, that I was able to actually bring the other side. Like, no, it's not me anymore. It's mala, and how she's going to be feeling for her sister. 
I couldn't stop crying when we were even doing real scene. Oh. Like, <laughs> so, and then until Devika went like, she's the inspector, you know, she was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, supposed to interview me, right? She's, she's like, rude to everyone. She was, she, both of them were very nice to you. I was so grateful. I was like, please don't bully him. Because <laughs> I know you guys are very sarcastic. Like, she was very sweet to, to you. And, and so was um, she, she, she is. And Pradeep. Then, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> I think Ganesh, Ganesh stopped us for a moment. Sorry, I'm just tying this. Like, it's getting sure, sure. So Ganesh, when Ganesh was like, um, yeah, Devika, can you, do, do not forget that you are actually playing a role of the inspector. You're not really, really <laughs> much for, for this person. Because I thought, I thought, shit, did I do something wrong? And then I realized, okay, she's actually tearing. So You I got her, her, see? You were feeling, so you got her to feel us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, was, it was really, really good. Like, on, on the old time left, the best feeling, I think I was not that day for a shoot because he was out mm. um, for another shoot or he was busy with something, I'm not sure exactly. So I was thinking I'm shooting with Ganesh and the whole other team, right? He's a mm -mm. And, uh, and then out of the blues, you know, uh, this light ran off in the building. And I you know, and, and I mean, everything just shut down. They say, okay, no, we're going to be retaken because we're trying to fix the lights and stuff. Uh, uh, okay. The whole thing is dark. And then somebody opens the door where I was sitting, sitting down with the other two, right? Then uh, Vinkasa opens the door and says, pin me, tinga, pin me, tinga. I looked at the design. So, Inky in the man. So, to get that credit out of, from him, from his mouth, wow. I just felt like yes. I was flying. I was, I was totally flying, like, for him to say that. Because, I mean, always, you know, he always, somebody will say, yeah, thanks, ma, the kind of thing. But on that particular day, he said that, I was like, I felt like I achieved something, like, you know, after all, the whole thing. It felt so good, Rasid. I tell you, it felt super good. I totally, under, I totally understand. I will say this: Bengasa, as many as many directions as he gives you, as many times as he asks us to retake stuff, he's very good about giving us positive feedback as well. As you know, once you yeah. finish the scene, he'll be like, "You know what? You really did well." He wants you to keep up the energy as well. He doesn't want you to get down on yourself. So I think he can tell sometimes on our faces where we get like, "Oh my gosh, I really want to do this," and it's not coming. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. So it's like the father in him comes out, and I really appreciate that because I. Yeah. I don't know how many other people do that or take the time to actually say that. And it means the world to us because we're not veterans exactly. yet. Like, just One story. day, maybe. <laughs> amazing. I tell you, I was beaming all the way, left to right, all the way. Russell, I think, okay, you're back. You were breaking up, so yeah. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Um, so yeah, so I was really, really excited to work with him. And like I said, sitting with the audience and kind of figuring out things as it came along because I, I didn't know the whole thing. I only knew my character and, and uh, Karthik's scenes. That's it. I didn't actually interact with anybody else outside of Karthik, even though some of the scenes may have like led you on to believe that I met a couple people downstairs or talked to people or whatever. I never mm -hmm. actually saw anyone else on set. So oh. it was strange to kind of see everything unfold. And honestly, I missed a lot. I did not. There was a part where um, they kept saying, go back and watch the first nine. And I was like, that was a long first nine episodes. I don't know if I have the time to sit down and watch the first nine episodes. But I didn't realize how much I had missed until they started recapping towards the end and mm -hmm. putting the puzzle bits together because I missed a lot. And I can't believe that I missed a lot. I'm one of those people that I really try to pay attention to the details. I really missed. And it's because of the way he did everything I think yeah. that it was on purpose for us to really like get lost in the whole commotion of things, to get lost in the emotions of everything. I loved it. When you finally got to the end, how did you feel? I was pretty shocked. I was my, and it was the best part, you know, every time mm. you know, when I didn't shoot up, like, uh, sir, actually, you know, the killer. Oh, he will literally like, you know, you're sure the script, don't know what. But I know he's teasing me, you know, and then I purposely said, yeah, yeah. Like, no, sir, I'll skip the part there. You know, sorry, I'm going to talk about it. And all this kind of thing. Then he was like, who showed out? But actually, I'm still not going to yell at it. Right. I didn't even write the script yet. So, it was, but the ending, you know, it was, um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, I think Pavitra, I tell you, I was super impressed. Pinita, my God. Yeah, I'm going to, I just was super impressed. It was so natural and I was amazed by acting. acting. And I worked with her in a cooking show before. I've oh. never, um, I mean, Pavita is very chirpy, quiet, you know, very simple person. Yeah, that's how I see her. But to see her, to bring that, you know, side of her, which really, really blends into, wow, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. <laughs> I was blown away. Um, 
I don't know if I could keep a poker face the way she kept a poker face. For most of like when Haran came in and was yelling at her and then uh, Nadia, her character came in, she was yelling at her as well. Like, she kept a poker face the whole damn time. And I don't know. I, I don't know. It was amazing. She, her character was so crucial. He, she had to be that way. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine her being any other way now, honestly. It had to be like, Mila yeah, had yeah, to be like that, right? Yeah. But that's the same thing. I mean, if you see Pavitra, she's actually... Um, in in her zone most of the times i would say but there forgive me but I, i think that's how i feel about you but yeah but the same that bhavita is also a very when you when you start speaking to her, she's very chirpy and you know she's that singing and she's a very lively person but, but most of the time she's always thinking things or she's in in a zone of herself you know trying to reinvent things i don't know that's how i see it so when she got this character and she's doing it i was thinking bhavita why bhavita i mean i didn't really realize why 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 but uh, then uh, uh. it went on the story continued she she was the one fit for the scene she was oh my like, god it was perfect you so anybody, perfect yeah, you got to so hand it to them they their job picking the right characters is really hard and i don't know how when i went for audition there were so many people so many people like in all the little moolas that like, they were practicing and everything i don't know how they went through all of that and were able to see okay this is who i need them to be how do you that's a whole other story like i need someone like ganesha <laughs> hari to come and sit down and talk to me but that that would be amazing <laughs> But honestly, I think our cast really came together very well. I think we had just the right combination for all of us to really deliver exactly what Ben Gasser had in his mind. And obviously, he had to be able to like tell us verbally somehow so so we could actually get what we needed to get done. Vegan says, "Hi, I'm back. I guess I can't ask much today. Don't want to be dominating this live session." This one is actually about Yadpri Vegan. So if you had a chance, please go watch Yadpri. Um we had a fantastic crew, really really strong storyline, and honestly, I didn't know what the underlying moral was going to be. Like like I said, this is the first time I've ever worked with Ben Gasser. I knew he was one of those directors that I need to at least try one time with and see if I can, you know, make it. By the end of this though, oh my god, the underlying themes, the the messaging was so bold and so strong and so necessary for our time right now. How did you feel about the underlying story? Everything was connected to rain. Do you, do you remember that part? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't I it didn't connect for me until they said it and I was like, "Oh my god, really? Yes." <laughs> like I was like salute. That's some deep stuff. <laughs> it was there was like every snake to rain out. I was like really then the umbrella the rains and it she was it was and it's it's it sometimes we just take things as simple as it we watch something and we just do yeah. not get in depth to things but that it should make you start thinking you actually don't just watch things for the for the sake of watching you actually need to feel you know the story feel what's happening and i tell you it was amazing i i loved it do you have a favorite scene of yours um yeah like i said my my last scene my cry scene because most of the time when i've got a character um, beat vasanda or somewhere else it's always been something very glamorous i think maybe okay. the moon japur you know i don't know <laughs> and uh, and i don't know like you know you had that presence like, actually Yeah, well, come again, sorry. And the presence that you have, like, or, or, it's like a very regal presence. Up there, you have, you have a park with it. I am actually in real life, I'm quite regal. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm quite the regal one in the whole family, actually, out of the six. Yeah, so okay. um, when when that happened eventually, they gave me that same particular scene to feel emotional, to actually show a human being like me, who thinks uh, people might look at me as like a very strong character who doesn't really feel emotional. and that particular scene was something which i loved so much i just felt like i could show uh, another person and um, yes and i want to tell you i love it um, among, among all your acting I, i mean during all these scenes i love this particular scene when you come back we didn't you did not go overseas you know, you go <laughs> canada you oh back. my god so canada the side of grass that i saw it's like grass was always like um, you know for uh, sure okay but you are upset yet that this is not working but then reset came to a character where she was like mm, obviously spoiled the day um pillar <coughs> pillar ka you know you know the kind of the, the whole you, you you went from there to there it was amazing reset it was so good. i loved it i loved it and i got lots of feedback a lot of people were like oh my god rasati how come you had like this such like the sarcasm that was coming out and i was like I'm actually quite sarcastic in real life. I just don't show it that often because it's kind of rude. But I loved it. I had so much fun, and I think it was the most natural for me. I, like just like you, like the crying scene that felt very natural for you. You didn't have to like prep it or anything. But this one felt very natural for me to be able to say, "Yeah, I flew 27 hours and I had the baby in 10 minutes." And I like who the hell is going to put me on a plane after that? <laughs> Come on, lah, <laughs> babam, nalla matik dad. 
video will end like before he even woke up and actually understood anything like yeah pavam la they were like yeah he really got it i was like yeah he did and i had my mother call me amma kupde vande she said hey why are you bullying this man so much pavam di i was like they wrote the script la amma please what to say the script tell vanda i think devil is asking something he asked about whether uh, makeup actually destroys our faces or not I think uh makeup has evolved to a place where um it's a little bit more um moisturizing it's not really cakey like it was when we first started makeup a, a long time ago and it comes down to how well we maintain our skin in the first place and then how quickly we wash off the makeup when we no longer need it so it's about maintenance it's about the skin care itself it's about how things are evolving I because guess what it's not just us ladies the men have makeup too, men too. <laughs> yeah yeah Oh, because everyone had to put on some makeup. So, yeah, trust me. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Makeup, the bruising makeups, all of those makeups, all of it. But actually, the worst thing I hate is the hair spray part. <laughs> oh, because wow. Um you even like some little hair, you know, they could just got to spray it up so it looks clean on TV and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, that's the only thing I hate. But apart from the makeup, it's still fine because you, I mean, you get to remove it after a certain hour. Yes. And obviously, you got a break from your acting cleansing and you know trying to do some mask on your face and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think the makeup helps to get into character as well because I mean the way I would do my makeup is not the way they do the makeup for me. And the way I appear, I think the first couple of scenes that I saw myself in Yad and even in Arivan, I didn't look like. I didn't look like me, which I think was good because I didn't, want, I didn't want to look like me either. I wanted to kind of get into character a little bit so that helped. Okay, I got you. <laughs> because I think I'd forget myself if I looked myself in the mirror and I'm like, "Oh yeah, no. I probably should stay in character." No, 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 no. Yeah, but for me usually I do use a lot of makeup. I don't use a lot, but I used to use a lot, but I think makeup is I don't like to ask me to just get because I do not have the perfect eyebrows I don't want to go and do something about it yet but yeah you know like can you just to make you look a little bit more um, pretty yeah I don't know about you but honestly if I if I had to do it to, down to the bare minimum right if I if I've been out in the sun a little bit at least like we've been inside forever and I'm about as translucent as it gets but um if my eyebrows look neat and I have a little bit of kanmai that's enough for me like on an everyday basis yeah, but then I, then you get to glam to up a little thought. bit a good moisturizer some mascara lipstick and eyebrows it's yeah. simple as good we feel good about ourselves as well it's not that we need it it's not that we're hiding nothing like that it's just sometimes yeah. you need something to pick you up right you can't i get tired of my face i would like it to look neater sometimes <laughs> <laughs> same same it happens to all of us so yeah, but, but this experience Oh, thank you. I actually put some makeup I, I on a little bit too, sir. Yes, I felt a little bit cuz uh, honestly like the whole weekend I, I haven't done this, anything. I love this this more. Honestly, can I tell you a secret? I don't know when this started, la. Like uh if I go and look at all the old pictures, up until I was like 15, 16, it wasn't there. I didn't know. I guess I started talking more after that and then they kind of appeared. It's so pretty. Thank you so It's much. Pretty. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's very cool. It's it's very strange, but I like it. Uh a lot of times people say, you know, something changed on my face and I don't like it anymore and they kind of like fight the fact that it's there. Uh it's there. I don't know. Most times I don't even notice it, but I I like that people notice it and it's not a bad thing. Uh for so long people notice things and they tell you, "Oh my god, it's so ugly." Or like when I broke my nose, it was like a really big problem for most people, but oh, eh, this is my face. It's not going to change. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, recently I started having this um, moles as well, like on my neck and mm. then on my face as well. You can see, like these black ones. My mom has a lot of them, you know. Then people used to say, like, no, it's a bit uh, weird, you know, this black thing sticking on. Then my younger sister started having Vicks, started having it as well. My eldest sister. So they're called skin well. tags, like, right? I'm gonna embrace it. It's 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 me, you know. So yeah. I'm not worried about it. So it's a special thing. You know, what my dad calls like, them extra. My yeah. My dad calls them money bags. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I think it's it's a very Asian thing. I mean, you have more, very... more more. It means like mm. you have more money. But you check my bank, my bank balance first, lah. <laughs> <laughs> don't check, don't check. Like Just go oh, with it. Yeah, but that's enough money. That's the problem. <laughs> 
So I love the fact that you got to act with your family member, with your sister, your real life sister. I love the fact that you got to pull from your own experiences and it naturally came out like the emotions and everything. Um, I felt really bad for you. I was really upset. Like in the back of my mind, I was thinking that, you know, uh, Anjali's character actually stole your passport and everything, but I couldn't figure out if like she wasn't showing any telltale signs, but you were like, she let you run all over the house looking for everything, your bags are packed, you're trying to figure out. And then she had the nerve to kind of tell you off. And I felt really bad for you, but you guys, the dynamic was natural. It, I couldn't tell that, that it wasn't any different than it should have been. It felt like the way you were at home was, generally speaking, the way you were on set, except for a couple of scenes or whatever. And I was surprised that when they announced that, you know, that was your actual sister. And so I was, that was so cool. Like, I can imagine how that would be to, like, have my brother act with me. I think, um, I, think I would probably forget the character and end up, like, doing something else different because he and I are, like, it's just different. We're just weird like that. We go off into our own world and we do something else. So I think it would be really interesting one day. I don't think he'd ever say he, you know, admit to, to acting, but I think, it, I think it would be cool one day. I think you should. I mean, if you get an opportunity, you should explore that. I mean, it's lovely. I, this is actually probably the third time I'm actually acting with my sister. So the last few times I was uh, a doctor for her, like I was a doctor, she's like a gynae for her. And then the oh, other wow. time I was actually um, a customer and trying to flirt with her so-called crush. And um, so actually, no, it's actually four, four times. So the first first one was I was a mistress for her husband or a kips or whatever you call it in Tamil for the husband. So oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've done it a couple of times. I mean, but this one being her sister, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And that was a bit more, I would say a bit more tough as much as very comfortable and saying that, I mean, Imagine the scenes where um, we got a retake because of me. So that was a bit saddening for me. It was a bit upsetting because it, she's got to fall 10 times because of me, which did happen. Like she, I think, did like the retake for I think six, seven times. Just because I didn't drop this particular handkerchief at a certain place. And it's my fault because I'm thinking so many things, looking at the camera, picking this up, right. talking to her. So it's so many things going on. And like, you know, one, two times it was perfect. And it's like, no, we should go to go again because something was probably not right. The sound was not right. Um, something triggered up, you got to repeat it. So the repeating part, maybe that moment should I lose myself. And I start thinking like, okay, yeah, that's this. Okay, just do this. But then I forgot actually what's happening is that I'm actually acting. But at the same time, when I start seeing my sister, it's got to repeat the same actions just because of me. She's got to drop on the floor, drop on the table. Her bum is definitely aching. So that was a really sad part. I felt so bad. Like when we ended the whole shoot and we were going back together because we stayed really nearby. And I was like, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. And she's like, no, I can't just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. It's part of acting. But I was like, no, but you felt like sometimes, like, yeah, but it's okay. And I was like, okay, shit, I'll massage you. The kind of thing. But I felt really bad. Oh. To like text her a few times to tell her that I'm really, really sorry. Like she was trying her best to remind me that, okay, script a car, this is the other, the other, the because sometimes when you act with your own family members, you might get a bit more comfortable and that's a right. problem. So I probably had that as well. Like, um, you know, because I know it's my sister probably like, being on par with on screen, I could um, actually like, you know, take uh, a lead back. I felt that, but actually it's not right. I realized that along the way, no, just because your sister, no, she's actually part of this team and she's a co-actor. If you, I mean, you cannot forget that. So I put right, right. Should the money, the money, yeah, that's about, yeah. But that's very big of you, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't think people think that much. Uh, I hope they do. But it, I think it's really important that you notice that you understood that about yourself. Um, I'm kind of curious, did you ever have a chance or maybe even wanted to kind of like discuss it outside of the shoot itself? Was there ever like a summa, like, like, like what's going on? Like, like, was there any like a Ennam to actually ask more questions, or was there like a, a rule already? Like, okay, hard fast rule. You're not on set anymore. You can't ask these questions in the Madri. No, I mean, um, I've been like the um, biggest fan of my sister. So from, from the time she actually came on screen, um, she joined me. Was I used to coach her for the dancing and walking and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so she always called me that the extra sister because I'm I'm the one always like you know like to dress up extra, do the extra things. So, yeah, I was part of a uh, starting journey in, uh, in media. And whenever I start seeing on screen, I just get so happy. Like, you know, wow, it's like my sister. I'm so proud. Yeah. And, um, and I also uh, do, like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a biggest critic as well. If, if she did well, I would say did, she did well on screen. She didn't look so, so good or, you know, she didn't do so well or delivered not so well. I would tell her. But if she did really well, I would also tell her. So um, I'm one of the biggest fans. 
So the same thing with her as well. I mean, she doesn't go in depth to it, but if she finds mm. that this is thing can be changed, she does tell me. And um, she, I love working with her because you know why? Like you know, when everything ends, right? Like um, she yeah. reminds me of something. Like you know, like you know, uh, this didn't go this day so well, but the next day, try it this way. Okay. Or even okay. during the scenes, if she doesn't have time to speak to me, she mm. probably send me a text. When she get a free time okay. there, you know, they're probably saying something. She send me a text after being in the room or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll try it this way. And that's very nice of her. I mean, um, very accommodating. I love that actually because both of you growing up in the same house, being actually related to each other, means that she would know things about the that. Sorry, she would know things about you that she could actually put it in a way that you would <laughs> understand. Because she knows like all the in that inside jokes, the way you've grown up and everything, she would be able to relate to you in a way that you would understand. So I love that. That's really cool, actually. And the fact that you are so, it seems like you're so, I'm jealous. I don't have any sisters. I only have brothers. I'm like the oldest boy in my house. So <laughs> this is really cool for me to see that, you know, you're so supportive of each other and you help each other along the way. And that dynamic is there anyway. That relationship is there anyway before you can come on set. That's really important, I think. Thank you very much for saying that. Sure. But uh, I have to also tell you, I mean, there's a lot of other sisters and brothers in the media as well. Like when I when I started off, there's a lot of helping hands as well. Like you know, even even they are like you know um, much um, uh, of a veteran in the industry. There are a few yeah. people who has really touched my heart. Like um, there's this person called Puravalan. I don't even know him, Puravalan. And uh, yes, Ahmad. he's so super. Then there's Siva, Siva Palakrishnan, and um, he's also amazing. He's, he, I acted with him recently in a short film as well. And all these people has um, been super, like, you know, they um, they have, like, never um, felt like, okay, she's new, she's a supporting cast or something like that. And even Indra. Indra yeah. Indra as well. She's such a, a lovely darling. And whenever I'm set with a Gayatri, Gayatri Sagrin, I can mention mm -hmm. as well. They all are such um, um, beautiful souls. Like, you know, when you, when you go on par with them to act as a supporting cast, they do not treat you like, oh, okay, she's just, you know, a, a new one or something like that. They're really, really very nice, and they are, they actually um, go along the scripts with you. You want to practice the same lines, <coughs> sorry, a few times. They do that as well. So um, a lot of amazing brothers and sisters out there in the media as well, I have to say. Honestly, I haven't had a bad experience with anyone so far. Um, luckily, uh, I've only recently met uh, Sivanna, but that's only through media. I haven't seen him in person yet. Um, I haven't had a chance to work with Pravan and Anna. But I saw him, he was in Shatri, and that was the first drama I ever saw when I came mm -hmm. back to Singapore. That was like 100 years ago. But it was really good. I was like taken by his character and everything. He's really, really great at what he does. I had the chance to meet Indra uh, only because my daughter was in a uh, Deepavali uh, commercial for PAP. And she happened to be there with Vishnu as well. So the both of them were so oh. sweet. And we had a, a ball of a time just getting to know each other um, because honestly, when I got on set, I didn't know who she was. I didn't know that much about media at all. Like, I didn't recognize her. I didn't know at all. But she was so sweet. She was not rude at all. And when yeah, I asked, you know, what's your name? Vishnu. I'm sorry to cut you, but Vishnu is also sure, sure. such a lovely yeah. yeah, Go on. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were, no, no. They were, they were very humble. And for someone who, I'm Singaporean, I should know these people. I don't. And I wasn't rude about it. I just, you know, hi, what's your name? And Namadri. And then I had my daughter. I was trying to fix her hair at the time. And, um, he was so sweet. And we ended up playing, like, we played Hangman. We played, like, category. We were playing, like, stuff in the, the, the background because it was a very long shoot. So they were very, very sweet. Uh, Guy Three Sagan, I had a chance to work with on Arivan. And she was, like, just like you said, she ran lines with me. She was very, very humble. Such a sweet soul. It was very cool to work with her as well. So, yeah, I've had great experiences so far. Karthik was like that on set with me. I wasn't oh, sure yeah, what to Karthik expect. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm sure there's plenty of people. Um, yeah, most of them. Most of them. He was sorry. so I'm patient. Like, really, no, yeah, they are. He was very he's patient. Really nice. I, I'm pretty sure he was tired of saying his lines sometimes because I just had to keep on, keep on, keep on like repeating stuff. Um, sorry, Abigail Jazier says, but still thinking, what would the conclusion of both you in Yad 3? Rasa, the character was pregnant, but she lost her husband in Yuretra. She lost her sister in Yad 3. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see if we come back in Yad 4. No, I don't know. Papa, really. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe we never know. <laughs> Depends on the production team and Vinga as well. Um, she also said, "Hello, I'm a fan of both of you. Finally, Yard Three is completed. You both nailed it. A lot of love Thank from you. Malaysia. Thank you. Love so to much. Malaysia. Thank, Thank you. So you. Yeah. I mean, it's really nice to see that um people do um um I mean send out your love for supporting cast as well. I mean, um, no matter we are not the main actors, we're not that popular in the industry." And sharing your love with us, it's so, so nice. And uh, it gives us the opportunity to want to explore more in the media Absolutely. industry and to bring out more of 
what you love to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I gotta say, Malaysia has been very, very supportive. I don't know if this is something that's always been the case or not, but a lot of the, uh, the a lot of the main comments come from Malaysia. They're very vocal about it. I wish Singapore is a little more vocal. They're good about sharing mm-hmm. stuff in their stories, but they don't comment on photos or anything as much as Malaysia. Got to shout out yes, Malaysia. They've yeah. been very, very supportive. Yes. Thank you, Malaysia. Good to see that. I mean, I agree that very much as well. I think that um, they're much more supportive in the sense of um, when it comes of or like a media shout out or something like that. India and Malaysia has always been very, very supportive. Yeah. I mean, Singapore, I think maybe in the Tamil and Lamla, you know, we've been quite busy. That's maybe. <laughs> yeah, our lifestyle um, has been very hectic, I would say. I'm still I mean, trying to figure it out. Eve. Like Malaysia, at least you know you just like you, after a certain time you're all back with your family and you have your like jing gang and you know, all like you, you just want to fun eat, spend time together. But yeah. down here it's very different for us. Like we 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 go out to work and we come back probably sometime late. We don't really get um, a time together, even husband, wife, or family members or something like that. We always running in different like, directions. Like month once, even one month once, and like somebody's gonna say like, mm. um, sorry, I got this on last minute something came up. But that's very different in India and uh, in uh, I mean uh, Malaysia. I feel personally so. Yeah. From what I've seen, no, honestly, like I know people that will message me like privately, but they won't ever put it on social media. And it seems like India and uh, uh, Malaysia are a little bit easy, like they're, they feel freer to do that. So I think people are still worried about what people will think about the comments that they make. But please, if you see something you like, let us know. If you see something you don't like, let us know. Be as love, loving as possible. Don't be pain, you know, like yeah, rude or anything. Yeah. But we would love to hear because that gives us an idea of what kind of content you like, if you understood the, the storyline itself. Honestly, I have loved both projects that I've been on and I've loved watching everybody else. I've loved getting to know all of you. And I don't know if I seem like weird or whatever when I like, you know, I, I message you guys and I, I comment on your posts and your stories and stuff. When I see stuff I like, I just, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure you know that I'm here for you guys, that I'm learning just alongside you guys. I support whatever you're doing. So then if you have a new project, I want to promote for you as well. Because like, this is the, the friendly side of life. This is how we become human. <laughs> that's very true I mean I, I totally love what you're doing like you know the motivation quotes you actually put up and um, things the messages you share us and I have to say it's amazing and that's why I started liking your thank you need to get back. yeah it paused for a second sorry sorry we're back Are you, do you hear us Abigail Jessia Give us a minute, let Rasid come back, yeah? Okay, Rasid is back yeah, on. Okay. So, yeah, as I, um, yeah, I totally loved uh, your Insta and uh, I was pretty surprised because, I, I mean, I, I've not seen you on screen. For me, frankly, I've watched you the first time on Yard 3. So, and then I got, got to know you and I was like, oh, she's got a daughter and stuff. And Kutich is so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. She's so adorable. You. you know, the recent Insta story, you both, and she's so smart, she could actually guess the Tamil songs and movies and so on, but... <laughs> She's hilarious. Oh my gosh. If you see her in person, she's like a, like a, she's like an old lady in a kutti body. Oh, that's nice. At least you have like a mother beside you. That's, that's how my mom calls me sometimes. Like, you're, you're like my mom. Because I always like, you know, tell her what to do and what to do. So it's nice. Really, that's how you <laughs> It's, it's helpful because I don't have to talk to I don't have to talk like a child to her. She she's she understands. She understands a lot actually. She's seen a lot in her little life, and um, it keeps me on my toes and it it makes me feel like I'm not alone because it's just like So we feel I feel I feel comfortable. It's very nice to hear. And keep going on, Rasid. Obviously, your positivity is amazing. And then, um, thank you. I get a bit lazy. I share a lot of things, but no, I do get lazy sometimes. So. <laughs> Oh, I do too. I think the last thing I posted was like six days ago. I need to get back on it. Oh, really? <laughs> Hi, welcome. Shake hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, Jessia, she said something like, so far, love both of you all. Is there any upcoming series? Um, Jessia, 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 scenes to shoot or something like that I hope I don't know but if they could there's nothing on the books yet Kandipa Vanda and there's a good storyline and uh, something which I would love to do I will, I will definitely do it I'm glad you said so that I forgot a question what? Uh, <laughs> what? I was going to say is there a role you really want to do you've never done before um, 
actually yeah i would love to play a mother okay <laughs> Yeah, that, that that'd be quite tough because I don't have kids. So to do something like oh, that. Oh, but you know tough. what? I think it would come naturally to you. Are you the oldest? Yeah, the second oldest. It would come naturally to you. I can see it already. <laughs> and um I mean another thing I would love to play with be our um hardcore villain. Ah, yes, I'm with you on that. Yes, villain. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, I I did um uh they play for So they actually mm. uh, did give me a chance to be part of being a villain, and I had to die eventually. The dying part was very, very tough. But I wish to be a villain that I could quick kill everyone and still survive. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> <coughs> We are telling the universe. We'll see. Well, I mean, part that they've done it. This is part of the reason I want people on. Yeah, of course. But I think it's important. So, um, mm. I've got two questions for you. Yeah, you mm. go on, and I've got two questions for you. Tell me, tell me. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Um okay I want to ask you so what if the if you're given a chance to choose a scene like same thing you asked me or um a character in, in a drama what would it be So right now we have Mudal Parve going on right and I yeah. kind of fell in love with um Ishwari's character she plays an MMA fighter I would love to play a fighter I think I would really oh, truly that enjoy that really just the you. Oh my god yes they really suit you with your bots and the so, kind of stuff that that really is I was talking to guys that we were watching um we were watching the scene yesterday the pilot episode and I was thinking you know what um I would have to be very careful though I am afraid that I would forget my place and the fact that I was acting and I don't know how hard it is to choreograph like a stage fighting scene but I would be afraid that I would forget and actually hit someone <laughs> so that's something I would need to no no yeah it's I put it go anyway so yes that's something I would like to try um I wouldn't mind playing a deformed character I think it would be interesting to play something where I don't look like myself at all. Um and I think it's <laughs> I think it's inspired by the Witcher a little bit, but yeah, I, something that's completely that I don't even look like myself. I think it would be really interesting. And a villain, really of course, nice. why not a villain? <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? Now since you say that this rings a bell as well. I mean, I I would love to play um blind, you know, acting blind or mute or um Like there was this um, Nainjra movie. I can't exactly remember the name right now, but I watched it. I think like um, Nanum Rowdy Dana. No, 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 not Adila. She she told me was mute in the whole. Of, um, oh, whole mute. Okay. Class. Yeah, she didn't speak. She has no lines. Nothing. She's just like she can't hear. She can't speak. It's just fully actions. Can you imagine what that would feel <laughs> like? I think that would be amazing. It would yeah, have so, to be purely body yeah, language, would, facial expression. Yes. That I would love. I want something to stretch me, definitely. <laughs> okay, then one more question is yeah, mm. three. Um if you had a chance to change anything, is there anything you would change? No, honestly, like by the time I got to the end, I was like if I change anything, it would screw up the whole damn message. So no, no, no. This is this is perfect. Like even god, even um <sighs> Dr. Vale's character who played mm. uh Nila's father, uh Tiru the way he ended his character and the way he ended the story i'm not going to give it away for those of you who have not watched it you better go and watch me watch go and watch okay um it tied everything together he really through and through he was this righteous character all the way to the end yeah he has a little bit of timre a little bit of ego like epapatalu uh, he's saying oh in the vice kind of maria the tevende apri elam solvar but up until the very end like pesa merinde nilla solradellam kettu pottu adukapram he was left his own devices for a moment and in that oh my god in that moment i fell apart watching it but it was it was perfect and this is the second time i've had a chance to work with dr vale uh in adivan he played siva sami he was like a little bit psychotic but his commitment to his roles oh, fantastic and if it wasn't it. for his commitment to the roles i don't know if i would have been able to deliver the way that i did so it was He is phenomenal. I wouldn't change a thing. I I don't yeah. And the urmian can carry other but even then I wouldn't change a thing. And if I would ask you what is the most challenging scene in the whole of your you are part of? Um there were aspects of my character that was hard. Uh when when benga so sat me down and told me what my character was going to be like that i was you know from an affluent family in canada sri lankan uh, origin and everything and uh he married me for the money 
I had bits and pieces, like flashes of my own marriage. So I, the reason I came back to Singapore is because I left my husband. I decided I needed to be here with my daughter. I needed to be with my own family. I needed to start over. And um, I would have flashbacks when I'm arguing with him and ask, like, you know, I'm like putting, I'm like jumping in on what he says. I'm like waiting for him to screw up. I'm just waiting, right? So I'm the kind of person, if I get angry, I get very quiet. And if I get oh, okay. quiet, it means you should probably be worried. Because <laughs> okay. I'm already plucking. Now, now since you told me that, then you better keep quiet. When you're quiet, I should know what I'm supposed to do. I'll just... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm, I'm working on being a little bit more vocal. But I remember aspects of my marriage where I was... I would have loved to have yelled and picked a fight and made him feel bad for something. But it, it just... I could see if there's no point. What's the point? I'm just going to shut up and, you know, you say what you say. And we'll see what happens because... You can't push me around anymore. Once you, I think a lot of females also, when they get to that point where they're already done with the relationship, they stop fighting back. They stop, you know, asking for a, uh, an apology or asking for some kind of response. You're like, you know, I could care less. You do you and I'll be over here. But good luck. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I get you. So for me to, to yell at him, for me to make fun of him, I felt bad because also I... I don't know Karthik like that. This is the first time I've ever worked with him. I haven't met him before. I know of him because I've you know, messaged him back and forth a couple of times on social media. Sweet guy, such a teddy bear. And I know he's not that kind of guy at all. So I felt bad. But even then, like there were parts of the character where I could see it in his face. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to mess you up. Don't do that again. But I couldn't. It was weird. It was hard for me. The one scene that I really had trouble with um, and I don't think it was because of the emotion of the scene at all. It's because I don't think people understand those crying scenes. They don't take it from one angle. They take it from five angles. And then you have to have him talking. Then you have to have me talking. You have to have the side view and everything. There was a scene where um, he was trying to explain to me he was worried for my life. And he wanted me to go to Canada. And he doesn't want anything to happen because these people are actually dying around him. As manipulative as he is in his own way, he really was worried for me. And I felt for that. And I wanted to cry. And I got into that place. But a lot of times you stop and you change positions and everything. And then the emotion goes. It was hard for me to carry on. So when you said it was easy, you cried through the whole scene. It was like it was just coming and coming and coming. You felt badly and you felt the emotion of the scene. I was like, dang, I wish I could be like that. Maybe like given a different situation. But I, I tried and it didn't come the way I wanted it to. But mm -hmm. I finally like forced a, a tear and everything. And, and it worked out well. But that was hard for me. That was really hard for me. But you nailed it. I mean, nothing could actually really be seen on screen. Like, you did a superb job at the scene. Really, Thank really you. Superb. Yeah. What else could I ask you? I mean, um, I mean, I believe you... I mean, have you done acting before than this? Or, like, except for Ariban or Yati? Completely fresh off the boat. Never done any of this. So, uh, Ariban, I did Ken. I did, like, two scenes in Ken. And even then, it was one of those last minute, hey, we need a character to play this and I sent in an audition tape and I was like okay what happens happens and the same thing for Ariban and it wasn't until midway through they decided you know what let's expand her track and I was like okay cool what are you gonna have me do so I got excited um but yeah I've this is this is the first time ever you guys this is my second project um and I've enjoyed it I've really enjoyed it stepping into someone else's shoes is a lot in line with coaching for me. So me teaching mental health helps me a lot <laughs> when I'm acting because I understand what the character has to go through. I understand what this other person must be going through for them to behave that way for me, for me to react this way to them. And it helps me a lot because, believe it or not, when I coach my clients, I use movies a lot. I use movies <laughs> a lot. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I think, yeah, they do apply quite a bit to our daily lives as well. A lot of movies and dramas you watch and even the messages they share actually I mean it plays a lot of good I mean parts to our life I've got one more question for you sure oh I stuck with her are you there <clears throat> Hi, sorry, we got stuck. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're gone. Gone. Sorry. Gone. <laughs> sorry. You're breaking up really. Okay, you're back. I swear I'm not moving. <laughs> can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. 
it's thinking a lot ye in ipdi nadakudhu okay tellinga yes i see good okay uh, okay can you please let her ask the question okay you there yes i'm here please don't move okay can okay so tell me so by nature you're a classical dancer uh yes a uh, very classical family so sangeetham bharatanatyam when we were growing up <laughs> i stopped the sangeetham because i moved around ipo kekadinga olanga varudilla so never rasit singh so we going to hear rasit singh now so sorry rasit because you mentioned it so you have to sing just a few lines for us oh my god why Some did i open my I mouth love, i love music i love music but i never i can't sing at all so to hear someone sing i'll be so so happy come on I I will try and sing something before we get off of here but what was your question let me think first No 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 give okay, me wait I I you just close the eyes now Mm Mm Baram baram classical songs as well something which you Okay know, okay okay the first thing that came to mind was a panchanatha kirtanam for like a million years ago i don't even know if i know the words right but <clears throat> pop on <clears throat> please forgive me do not kill me shruti baram billa entaro ma kanu bahu lantari ke lantanamu mu entaro ma kanu bahu wow oh my god rasit awesome you have such a nice voice <laughs> thank you hold on one second ah inna di There's a pally in the kitchen. It's okay. Relax. Stay in the living room. I will kill the pally in a minute. <laughs> okay, ma. Can you pour in one more? Can I just add it for? No, I'll get you in a minute. I will protect you from the pally in a minute. Inga ma kadi problem da sir. Inga pally patang na angan de fifty step tani ipanga. But now that I'm better, much better than that, no one else can do it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's it's you're such a like you know that hoarse voice. It's something I love. Like you know you've seen the Thank song you. like Vasikara, Ondra Irunda, or I don't know. You're just beautiful voice. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. I'm I'm sweating here because I'm so scared. Like I like to sing. I am a kitchen singer. I sing while I while I cook normally. But um, yeah, I. <clears throat> one day i'll be confident in you have you have the talent i mean if you're blessed with thank it, you share it but yes yeah, so like i started off doing all this when i was young uh you know those those moments where you go and visit family a family member come and visit you they're like oh she can sing come and sing now before i'm like oh my god really so yeah up there <laughs> happens years that's right but i love okay. dance uh i think dance is my first love and i was very lucky I to be able I to learn from you see that you're doing like a tiktok video the other day and you had this old bharatanatyam outfit and you she was so good and i and you just did like some you know simple exchange and it was really nice very dance now and my bharatanatyam i would love to learn but i'm too old at kind whatever <laughs> no 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 you're not old i know other people that are also learning now so never too old no no but now kuchu padi la save kum la the oh wow kuchu padi wow okay <laughs> yes okay the movements are different mm. Yeah, so uh, I will not sing. Yeah, but it will not be able to do that. So I just rather not do it. I understand. <laughs> no, definitely. I love uh, I love Bharatanatyam. Uh, Dance for a very long time. I think I we toured up and down the east coast of the US, and I had a chance to go and perform in Coimbatore as well. Uh, wow. My teachers are from Chennai. I, oh my God, I'm so lucky. My aunt is my main teacher. I had a chance to learn from Lakshman sir, uh, Dhananjan sir. 
um, while I was growing up. They're going to kick us off in like 20, min- uh, 20 seconds. So if we need to, we'll get back. I'm going to get back off right now and come back on real quick so we can continue this very quickly. Is that okay? Yeah. So we'll take a okay. minute break and probably come back. A minute break. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye. Sweet.